So, this is a little web app for our HTTP 203 podcast. It... What do you mean you've never heard of it? It's a... It's like an extended edition of the videos. What do you mean you've never seen them? The, I, okay, never mind. This is just a, a podcast web app. I can click one of these icons here, and that downloads the podcast, meaning I can listen to it even if I'm offline. However, if I'm offline when I try and download the podcast, it fails. I mean, that's not too surprising, but what's more surprising is if I'm on a slow connection, I start downloading, and then, you know, I put the phone in my pocket and get on with my day. At some point, Chrome or the tab to the site, it's going to be purged from memory. And as a result, it forgot all about my downloads. This is because the page was handling the downloads, and it would be a, a battery and privacy problem to let those pages live forever without the user knowing about it. So now I'm going to open the site in Chrome Canary with the experimental web platform feature enabled. Now it can use background fetch. I'm going to download a podcast on a really slow connection, but notice this time we get a notification for the download. This is because it's being handled by Android rather than a web page. I can close the PWA, I can close Chrome, I can close Chrome Canary, I can close everything, but the download continues. If I reopen the PWA, it can query background fetch and know that the download is still happening. I can even go into airplane mode. This breaks the connection, but background fetch just waits for connectivity to return, and then it resumes the download. Then later on, when I'm on a faster connection, the download completes. Now I can reopen the app, and there it is, there's my podcast. Thanks to Background Fetch, the download survived Chrome closing and lots of changes in connectivity along the way. Now I can go back into airplane mode and listen to the podcast offline.